Shucks documentaries. Yep. Bing, bang, back in action. Back in action. We've got all of our shit here. Don't forget the snack pack packed away. And we are en route to the Philippines. Filipino beers here. Yeah. Saga. 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 <laughs> Saga. I'm still, I'm still an animal. Nobody knows it but me when I sit. Yeah, I slip, I'm still an animal. There is a hole and I try to fill it up with money, money, money. Manila at 3.45 a.m. Lexi got some smidgets. Filipino donuts. It's the Filipino version of a Timbit. And the result oh. is? Tailas. That's oh. delicious. Ooh. What's it called? A smidget. <laughs> and we're en route to El Nido, Palo Alto. See you there. El Nido. Pretty Nido. We got some absolutely beautiful conditions here today at Nakapon Beach. Wow. Lex, what do you say? Oh, say Lex. That's what I got. Water time is just an absolute bathtub. Let's get another underwater scopage here. steam-up situation. Real humid today. Chuck snorkeling tours. <laughs> Welcome. What do you see down there, Lex? Um, a lot of cool coral. 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 Um, I think it's coral. Saw a couple of really beautiful fish. Definitely very prehistoric looking. Yes. Um, really, really cool rock formations over here. Uh, I don't know, Cody. Can you weigh in on some of your? rock with some of your rock knowledge yes i can it's some pretty remarkable geologic activity here um clearly volcanic at one point or another and uh it feels like we're in jurassic park oh yeah like would you look at that beauty here we are in the philippines here we are we've spotted a white <laughs> in the wild 
Oh gosh, my moon is now on a quarrel. Oh. Most beautiful place in the world. Literally straight out of the Survivor episode. And we are going to send it. Does he love it? Good work. Cody's staying in the truck. So, we had a couple of rum drinks on the way back today. And here we are, walking back. Something stings my ass. Oh no. I'm sorry, just spoiled everything. What? Someone. No, you just made it. Here we are. Scenic. Just watch the coral <laughs> and the starfish. We're here at Almedo doing a canopy tour. Almedo, right down here. And it is stunning. They grow one centimeter per year because of the tectonic plate activity. But we just learned that Almedo is actually <clears throat> in an area outside of the Ring of Fire, so they actually don't get any earthquakes here in Almedo. Oh. Mm -hmm. What a good little tidbit. Yeah, you're welcome. These things are just like wedged into the rock. No drills, oh, no bolts, just, oops, just oh. placed in there. <laughs> Tuning back into Chuck's documentaries here, um, we had a little bit of an adjustment on our Philippines itinerary and we're joining the expedition here to Caron. We got our pal here. What's your name? Oh, my name is Mike. Mike, what's up? My bro, Hello. what's your name? Rodel. Rodel. Yeah. That's our captain. This is our captain? No. Oh, there's captain. Okay, cool. I have Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> I am the captain now. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be home for the next few days. Island hopping around our way up to Corona. Yes. Three days. Good crew, good people, very excited. Lots of rum. Lots of rum, where's the rum? Yeah, stay tuned for, for rum. Yeah. But here we are, day one, expedition. Bye. Bye. We are absolutely killing it here today uh, on our expedition. It's been so sick already. Just absolutely stunning blue 
clear water. Clearest water we've ever seen by far. It's just something out of this world. A couple tips uh, we've learned today. Uh, snorkel masks do not fare too well with a thick stash. You get a lot of seepage into the nostrils. Uh, the second thing that we've learned on the tour, wear way more sunscreen than you ever would even think to imagine. Even in the early morning, we are cooked to a crisp. Lexi is gonna be hurting tomorrow. All aboard. Next pit stop. <laughs> that was pretty good. It's our daily commute here for the next few days. We have Hamburger Heather. Hello. Lemonade Lexi. Lemonade Lex. And the newly anointed Cocaine Cody. Hi. Cheers. Peace. Little sunset, golden hour. Lexi here. We have made it to base camp. We are in Kubo number 11. We're gonna play some volleyball. However, I need to show you the digs first. Kubo number 11. Nice little bed, good mosquito net. Fire sprays. We are chilling. We got the pups. We got Waggy. And we got Nibbly. Good little split there. Coconut Cody. How we doing? So good. Day one sunburn is real. Yeah, my calves are um, not comfortable. It does not get better than this. Nibbly. Hi, Nibbly. He's trying to come up here. <laughs> he wants to get in there. Of Survivor Night Number One. Wait, let me have the thingy. I gotta show them. Lexi, what the hell is it? Lexi needs. Happy day. Be yours. We'll end with that. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Hi. Day two on the expedition tour. Had a fairly sticky and sandy night, humid, um, and no Chuck's documentary would be fulfilled without a bowel movement situation. Um, a little bit of El Nido revenge, I think. He woke up the whole campsite. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. But we're uh, we're onward. We're gonna see some tuttles this morning. I like tuttles.
Day two sunset check. Approved. Team morale check in. How we doing? So good. Vibing. Vibing. Good. The head has been grown. <laughs> How we doing, Chief? How does it look? <laughs> you look great. <laughs> Killing it. Chicken curry. So it's like um, Indian Filipino style curry and Filipino fried rice. And guys, please try our Filipino fried chicken. Ooh. It's different well, from yeah. um, from other fried chicken. What's different? So, yeah. It's really juicy. <laughs> so, yeah. What the? What's, oh my God. What's going on here? What the hell? Guys, I don't want to die. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Good morning, day three of our expedition. A uh, little bit, a little bit cloudy, rainy today. Uh, we had a hell of a rainstorm last night. Insane! So much rain. We spent the night in the jungle on a remote island. I mean, there's kind of way out yonder where that smoke is coming from is where we were staying we're getting taken for a ride here on the bow of the of the boat and it's definitely a little swelly out here All right, Cody's kayak here. Captain Cody. Captain Cody. Captain Chuck. Here with Hamburger Heather. We have arrived to Green Lagoon. And we have 40 pounds. You're welcome. <laughs> Diver Lexi here. Hasn't Diver, dumped in Diver. a while. <laughs> dive, dive, dive. Wow. Scuba Chuck here. Scuba Chuck. Checking in with Scuba Charlize. Oh. <laughs> We're at Barracuda Lake. I want to get up myself a pair of In Corona Island. You're cruising me.
Good afternoon. Welcome to Corone Island. Cody and Lexi's kayak tours, sponsored by Chuck himself. We got our yak, we got the sun, we got the ocean, and this beautiful scenery. Check out that water. Captain Lex taking us home. We have made it to our cute little floating houseboat cabana at Powlin Houseboats. Pretty nice. How are we doing? Great. Our own little dining area. And all of this is ours. Hi, I'm Don Lake. Scoping sash. Pretty cool. Viewpoint. And we're gonna check out the lake next. The mozzie bites are getting real. Oh my gosh, yeah, Lex is just toe up. Lit. Uh, yeah. Itchy is an understatement. Welcome back to Chuck's snorkeling tour. We're at the Skeleton Shipwreck, uh, a Japanese World War II ship that sank here in the Philippines. Let's take a look. mobile last night we uh, drove to Alegria to do some canyoneering today uh, at Wonderful Falls we're doing it live or Wonder Falls I think is what it's called we just took a motorbike with another nice guy he took us on the back of his all the way up this windy hill so that was an experience one boy had a little extra loving behind him here coming up the hill <laughs>
Coming to the end of our canyoneering, canyoneering sash. Be fun. A lot of jumping. I hope Cody is happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a little bit of a gecko situation on our hands. Um, we appear to have a a roommate joining us for the evening. And <laughs> oh, oh, he's ready to move. Cody, don't get to go. I'm not really sure how to. What if he ends up in the bag? Invite him to leave. Um, I just like really don't. I do not understand how he got in here because we made sure the windows were closed. Uh, update here from mobile. Gary the gecko has exited the premises. Safely. He's out. He's all good. He's happy. We're happy. I just want to know how he got in here. Good morning. 6 a.m. here in Mobile. And we're going to go swim with some sardines. Let's check it out. <laughs> We got a dank one on our hands. We're thinking sardines are like right over yonder. We shall see. gotta be one of the coolest things of all time uh, straight straight out of Finding Nemo down there just absolutely epic all right we are back on the motorbike heading to Kandanga Peak to get a good bird's eye view of Mole Ball um, this is our second bike ride after or our first bike ride after our little uh, spill off the side of the road yesterday so um we're gonna be really safe today and uh no spillage here no spillies. right no spillies see you there so we didn't quite make it two feet um might have made a wrong turn that put us on a trail that will take us Two more hours to get to the top. The roads are sketchy yeah. at best. All right. Onward. Next time. We have an adventurous travel day ahead of us. 
Um, we're leaving Mobile and going to uh, Bato at the southern tip of Cebu Island. And from there, we're trying to figure out where we're going. But we got this pretty dope open air bus going here. Fresh air con off the side of the windows. Uh, so we're making our way about two and a half hours on this bus to Bato. And then um, hopefully catching a tricycle to Wailoan here to catch a ferry to Dumaguete, to catch another ferry to Sikahor. Hopefully you can hear me. It's really loud and windy on this bus. Um, we do have some snacks, specifically our favorite local Filipino snack. Ding dong. Delicious. For your help. Leg number two. We made it to our fourth leg of the journey today to Siki Hor. Here we are on our next ferry, the Maria Gloria. And here's your favorite fan. Favorite fan. <laughs> Here at Sunset. Sunset and Dumaguete. Actually, pretty spectacular. We got some snacks. We got snacks. What'd you get? Some. D dangs. Special cookies. And Dundee's. <laughs> Look at that. Head into that oh. island there. Good news. Uh, we made it to Sikihor. And we're getting food. In Aircon. In Aircon. Second good news. I got a tattoo on the bow. He has a hat. Third piece of good news. We found a map that I've been waiting to show all of the fans of Chuck of the Philippines and where we are. So, here we are. Big shot of Philippines. We flew into Manila, which is like here. Uh, we then came down to El Nido on Palawan Island, which is over here. We did our three-day expedition on the boat up to Caron, which is in here. Right there, yeah. Uh, Crown Island did that. We then flew from Busuanga over to Cebu City here. We drove down to Mobile and Pasag, what was it? Pasag? Panagsama. Panagsama on this part of Cebu Island. This morning we swam with the uh, sardines in Pasag. Panagsama. It? Panagsama, I cannot get that one. And then, today, we drove from Pasig Panagsama <laughs> yeah. uh, on the bus all the way down to the southern tip. We took a ferry to uh, Dumaguete here on this island. And we took another ferry just now to Sikihor, which is that tiny little guy right there. So that's where we are. Oh, and then afterwards, we're gonna go to Siargao, which I believe is this guy. There. there you have it. There you have it. Cartography. Our first Filipino jeepney experience. Good morning from Sikihor. We are, we made it last night, first of all. Uh, and we are now at the Steinhausen. Lux is gonna give us a tour of our stone hut here. Okay, here we go. This is our nature Steinhausen. Pretty darn cool. A literal stone, stone house. Hut. Stone house. <laughs> oh, it's 
Jesse's favorite room. Here you go, Jess. A dump. Oh. Wake up and bing bang. Right off the edge into the water there. The stone house chilling. We got some dope falls on our hands here at Kambaguhe Falls in Sikihor. We got the waterfall queen herself. Alexandra. Trying not to see it. Here. We're here at Kambuge Falls. We're here at Kambuge Falls. Going in. <laughs> we Here we are at Monkey Beach, Sikihuar, and it is totally deserted. Chuck, motorbike tours back at you, coming at you live. Uh, we just did Monkey Beach. We're going to Secret Beach next. We're gonna give you a little, a little tour here. There's a little slack line there. There's I'm getting up. Alright. Bombs away. You! Oh, just a little bit terrifying. <laughs> There's Lex, my cheerleader. Salt water right up the schnoz. All right, and this is this is the way home. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. This part of the climb is a little dodgy, <laughs> but uh, let's see. Not the easiest climb with the camera. Next act, we're gonna walk the plank. <laughs> she liked that one. <laughs> yeah, it is. Lexi is going to try to open a coconut. <laughs> We're at the 
100 year old, oh, 400 year old <laughs> uh, balete tree here in Sikahor. And it is huge. And Lexi is going to show us how to get a foot massage. Lex? Oh, it's not a foot massage. Show us out. Put them in. I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm gonna freak out. We're going in. Oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's gonna lose it. He's gonna lose it. Yeah, like, no, no, no. They're like, hey, this guy's feet are gross. Oh. Gross. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Cody's uh, and Lexi's jumping tour 2023. We got Ren with us, showing us the way. Here we go. Shock's documentaries, checking back in here. Made it to Shargal. We're here in Shargal after our journey yesterday. Yes. And uh, we're at Cloud Nine Surf Spot. One of the best surf spots in the world. Yep, says it right there. <laughs> uh, low tide right now, real low. Um, water temp. Guess it. Guess. guess. Yeah, you wouldn't guess it. A balmy 88 degrees. You're gonna need your Speedos and olive oil because you're gonna be cooking out here. Uh, we might get in the water here later today. We'll see. Maybe when the tide comes up a little bit, get us off that reef. So we got some offshore winds here. Love to see that. Um, looks like a little point break out here here could be a fun little mellow one killer islands out there in the distance and out over yonder is a whole lot of pacific ocean it's hot today again mm -hmm. sweaty humid it feels great sticky no complaints here. but no complaints i don't know how you do it don't know how you take my breath Adventures continue. Take three. We did a time-lapse video for two minutes, then the truck came by, and now we're trying again. We are at... Coconut Tree Forest. <laughs> <laughs> the Cocoa Tree Forest. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of cocos down there. We had a Chuck's Documentaries first today. Um, ran out of memory. We ran out of cards. ran out of memory on the on the old memory chip. Uh, so thankfully, uh, brought it back up just in case. A lot of stupid picks. A lot of stupid picks took up a lot of memory. Uh, but Chuck's Chuck's be prepared. Always. Um, we are the creatures of the <laughs> night. Ooh, ooh, ow. So shout out to the owls. We're on a motorbike adventure today. Motorbike adventure, stop Hello, number one, and, um, Coco Forest. Up next, we're gonna hit the Macapongo Rock Caves. And hopefully, we enjoy some nice Coco frozen treats later today. Oh, we sure will. So stand by for those too. So get the best of me. Now I'm nothing if you're not next to me.
we are at the Magpapongo Rock Pools. Caught the edge of low tide here, and it's pretty much like the most epic tide pool you could ever imagine. So, the Filipino shake game, fruit shake, is on, on parallel. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh yeah, really good. Thank you. So good. We got coconut shake here and a mango banana shake. Delicious. out and still sweating uh, very very hot still um, we are here at Harana Surf Resort and we were told that Saturday nights they have like uh, the destination spot for the whole island uh, for partying so uh, I guess the whole islands coming to where we're staying uh, we've got ourselves a classic classic international pregame here we've got some of the world's finest tendue rum you're gonna like the way you feel after that and oh oh Lexi's oh, uh okay well hopefully she's okay man looking like this could be a sunrise uh, night kind of situation. So, uh, anyways, wipe your feet before you come in. In the name of David Goodfriend, where's the rum gone? True. Mambo high. Breakfast is served. My plate here is called the Tortang Talong. It's fried eggplant and omelet with garlic rice and chorizo. Lexi got crispy adobo, fried egg, garlic rice, side of bacon with some looks like is crispy pulled pork. Filipino style. Shargao surf check. <laughs> Say that one three times fast. Shargao surf check, Shargao surf check, Shargao surf check. Like we said, moody day here in Shargao. Uh, and very blown out, as Lexi has noted. She's learning a thing or two on this trip. Um, real low tide. I think we're looking at like a negative one foot low tide here today. Buddies are searching for Clams Casino over there. And wow, so low. There's people like all the way out there. That's insane. We're hoping for an afternoon session, but it's looking pretty not too great. So we walked out to the edge of the reef here, low tide, and I'm pretty sure I was surfing like right there the other day during high tide. Felt a lot further when I was paddling out here. This is Naked Island. Contrary to the name, we are not naked. But the island is or something like that. And our entire uh, boat today is Tagalog speaking only. Tagalog tour only here Tagalog today. Tagalog tour only. So we're, you know, just kind of left to guess what's going on, which is okay. We're not, we're not upset about it. We're going with the flow. We're going with the flow. It's a beautiful day. 
It stopped raining. That's it could be rainy right now. Yesterday poured all day, so we're grateful for the sun. Hermy the hermit crab? Sure is. What's up, buddy? Oh, he's shy. He's a little shy. Uh, he's actually really not. We're here at the last island of our Tagalog tour. Uh, not learning any new Tagalog, um, <laughs> but just we're just, just going, going in one ear and going right out the other. <laughs> uh, we had a boodle fight lunch, which Lexi was very nervous about. She thought it was a chicken fight yeah. that they were going to make us witness. They did not make us. There was no chicken fight. fight. It was just goodness. tourists fighting over a big platter of food. <laughs> So, no chicken fight today. Um, we thought it was going to be a cultural experience, and it was. I wasn't going to go. But, other than that, we did see a little local skimmer over here. Kind of want to try out his board. Alright, it's a sad day for us here in the Philippines. We, it's our last day, and we are starting our departure journey. Back home, unfortunately. We're leaving Shargao. Say bye, Shargao. Bye, Shargao. Uh, heading to the airport, and we've got a hell of a journey on our hands ahead of us. We're gonna start a, I think I've done this in the past. Uh, we're gonna start a clock here, wow. timer, for how long this journey takes. So we're, we just got in the van a little bit ago. Uh, stopwatch. all the positivity you guys have. See you on the other side. Oh, so you're weaker, I am. You doubt all bother. Team Chuck, morale check in. We never left Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> um, we sat on the plane for three hours. And. Did you sleep for three hours? Yeah. Three days? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, because you were snoozing away. Wow. They canceled the flight, kicked us off the plane, said, get the hell out of here. But we are not going around the world anymore. Sorry to disappoint everyone on that, that update. We're really hoping to be the uh, be the circumnav circumnavigators of, of 2023. Make Magellan proud. Fun fact, Magellan um, was one of the founders of the Philippines. Anyways, so morale is... Morale's fine. Morale is... Hong Kong buffet breakfast actually rocked. Uh, buffet breakfast wasn't bad. Oh, um, let's see, let's see, let's do a quick check on how many hours we've been wow. going the stopwatch. It's 21 hours, 40 minutes, and 59 seconds on the road. And we still have a 14 hour flight ahead of us. So, that's all for today. Uh, don't really have much of Hong Kong to show you, but Shishi, talk to you later. <laughs> Nabu hai. <laughs> Ladies and gents. We have made it to Washington Dallas and I look even shittier. Who knew it was possible? This is the gnarliest travel day that either travel of us day. Dates, uh, <laughs> that either of us have ever experienced in our lives. I literally feel like I've been on the plane for 40 hours. It's been an absolute grind. I'm gonna get a check here on the uh, on the timer. Going on 45 hours of traveling, and we still have to get our Uber to Baltimore. We're sad that the trip is over. Filipinas, thank you very much. Yes. Philippines was an amazing time. Thai guy. We hope to see you soon. A lot left to do on the list there. Oh yeah. And. Um, 
we're gonna get some much needed sleep now. Yeah, and a cheeseburger. <laughs> and a cheeseburger. All right. All right. Chuck and Chuck. Closing out. Closing out. Until next time. Until next time. Stay yeah. tuned. We have no idea where we're going. We're <laughs>